I just want to get to the nitty gritty on this just completed presidential election. People that didn't vote for Kamala Harris, a large majority of them, didn't vote for her because they didn't want to because she's a woman and or because she's a black woman. Pure and simple. All that other stuff you hear, exit polls, oh, it's the economy, you know, it's housing prices, it's this or that. Well, let me ask you a question. Are food prices and housing prices going to be lowered just because Donald Trump got elected? No. Trump's been telling his followers for the last year or so, he's going to increase their costs with tariffs on foreign products that come into the country. You know, one of the most imported foreign products we have in the United States, fish. People like fish. People eat fish. Guess what? Fish is going to be more expensive under Trump. You know, so I'm not buying this crap. Matter of fact, there is a Puerto Rican radio station owner and host um, in, in Pennsylvania. He said his callers calling in, the Latino callers, the Puerto Rican callers, saying they would not vote for a woman for president. They said a woman belongs in the kitchen. So when you saw that massive pickup on Hispanics by Trump, that's because these people, particularly the men, were not voting for a woman under any circumstances for president. So they went to Trump. They didn't care. They didn't care if he called Puerto Rico or, or he had a comedian on stage that called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. They were not voting for a woman. 12 million people didn't vote at all. So the power of racism and sexism is massive in the United States. So stop all the other excuses. It was the economy. It was this. It was that. At the snap of a finger, is that going to change? No. Matter of fact, Trump is already saying, hey, I'm taking you to the cleaners. You're going, okay, boss. So that proves what Lyndon Johnson said many years ago. You give somebody someone to look down on and they will empty their pockets for you. You don't even have to pick their wallet. So I got a word of advice for all of you folks that voted for Trump in spite of him being a convicted criminal, sexual assaulter, and anything else you can name. Go buy yourself the biggest freezer that you can fit in your house so you can buy meat and other food every time it goes on sale. Because when Trump gets through with you, you're going to think the current economy and pricing was a picnic. I'm out.